Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas, and welcome to Green Power Science. It's a happy Thanksgiving day, and we have a big fryer up there that we have filled part way with oil. I didn't go all the way to the top like the normal turkey fryer, because it's above us, and I don't want to be pulling heavy, hot oil this way. reason it's high like this is because the sun is at a low angle this time of year, so you have to cook this way. This is a 70-inch parabolic dish with an acrylic mirror attached inside. We have a 12-pound turkey over there. Ready to go, defrosted. This is a very stable rack that we built. If you fry turkeys, doesn't matter how you do it, be very, very careful. I got the pot of potatoes and water, seasonings. That's, is that hot? No. no. Look, that's not no, hot. No, it's just, okay. And well, we're going to put it over here. We have another setup. Okay. You need heat all around? Yeah. We're going to be making a solar oven. Making one that... And then we'll, we'll have a follow-up on these biscuits. I'm going to make one that gets one trillion degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> you guys can figure out the Celsius conversion. It's going to... Actually, I'm not really going to do that, but... Yeah, yeah. So what we have is a solid metal oven. This is designed to put wood in and burn. You get these at Walmart. We have five biscuits in there in a cast iron skillet. We're gonna be using a combination of a Fresnel lens and the Archimedes mirrors to blast the crap out of this thing. So what we've done is position mirrors against trees and ladders and that thing. And we have a Fresnel lens on this side pointed at the oven. Fresnel lens doesn't have a concentrated point because the angle's kind of goofed up with the, where the sun is. But you can see that these mirrors right here are actually wow. 330, 130 degrees there, the front half. Careful you don't burn your leg. That's 350. So as we come around the back side where the Fresnel lens is, 301. So it's, it's got heat all the way around. What did you Google, Denise? How to make a fried turkey. How long does it take? 45 minutes. And temperature should be 350. What is our temperature out there? Okay, it was two, 295 when I stuck my hand in it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I think it's at, it's, can we check? Can you slowly open up and just do yeah, the Yeah, I guess I could. This is very important. He was gonna do this for three hours. I had to double check this because three hours would be a fried, Burnt chicken. I mean turkey. Well. <laughs> now that the cloud came over, everything slowed down dramatically. One thing that happens, people think that focusing, taking a large parabolic mirror, pointing it at the sky alone, the brightness of the sky would be two, three hundred degrees, even on cloudy days. Not true. You need direct sunlight. The North Pole, South Pole, and you have direct sunlight you'll get this type of results. If you're at the equator, you'll get this type of results. It is clear sunlight, which isn't very clear right now, coming in, focusing, making a print of the sun on the bottom of the object. But basically, that's what you wanna go for. So clouds, no. And the cold weather only matters with the way that it leaches the heat out like this. So if it was 30 degrees colder, we'd be losing more heat out here. A lot of people incorrectly believe that it's how hot it is outside that determines how well your solar cooking has not much to do with it. On a uh, 95 degree cloudy day in Florida when it's high humidity, you can't solar cook at all because it's cloudy. So this works about the same speed wise in the winter as it does the summer, less the heat leaching. Okay, right now I'm heating up this area right here. This is the focal point. Once the pan heats up with the, the, the butter, nice temperature, then I'm gonna put the celery and I'm sauteing celery and onions. This is for the stuffing. So I'm gonna put these down since I'm looking at the focal point. It's a little too bright for my eyes. You don't wanna direct cook the food because you you would burn it. Now it looks like I'm ready to move some of the onions and the celery in there, but I'm 
shifting it around. Moving the pan now so a different part of the pan gets hot. And I'm going to clear the food out of the focal point. Let the pan heat up. And then allow the onions and the celery to saute. To show you how hot these Archimedes mirrors are getting inside of this. Let me this show you. Wow. Well, okay, I'm gonna drain the water and I'll be all ready to mash them and put a little bit of milk heated up. But the, the breading, all we need to do, a cup and a half, the block. The nice thing about cooking like this is you don't need eye protection because yeah, your focal point's there. You just don't want to move the pan and be standing face first in front of it. Okay, and then four cups of this. This is the fridge. So it's just strictly like breading. We're making your own stuff. Okay, it, it has to all be moistened up and then let it sit. It takes about five or ten minutes to actually cook. Dang. It's cooked. It smells That's, cooked. I mean, it, it looks like it's falling apart. It looks so good. How did the biscuits look? Uh, cooked. Baked. All the Be way careful, through. that pan's hot. It's heavy. Okay. I lifted it up on those racks. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I, I, was... I melted some butter earlier, too. So they're garlic cheese biscuits. Those look good. You did a good job with the mirrors. Well, thank you. What's nice yeah. about putting everything away is it's, it makes it easier later on. You get tired after the turkey. Go sleep. Yeah. turkey is so tender that it you don't you didn't have to there was no need to carve it it literally just fell right off the bone and it is very 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 good it's it's very uh it doesn't extremely moist delicious probably some of the best turkey mm -hmm. i've ever had actually got warm and there's some mosquitoes out now but this is one of the best uh turkeys i've ever had Fried turkey, potatoes, we did right there in the sun. One of the biggest. Everything else you see. The biggest challenge was the bread. It's like a cheesy bread. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It took about an hour to cook the bread. That was the longest thing. That was a challenge. What was your favorite part? Um, well, I think the mashed potatoes. Yeah, I think everything was fun. There were red potatoes? Red potatoes. I mean, it's definitely a little more of a challenge. Definitely, it definitely made Thanksgiving a lot more exciting. We started at 10 o'clock and we finished by 3 o'clock. So it took us five hours to cook. There's enough food over there for probably 10 people. Yeah. 12-pound turkey. Um, and it's delicious. It's so fantastic turkey. We didn't do the really high heat oil where you fry it and it's got burned on the outside. We don't like burned food. A lot of people do. They like their food blackened and burned probably reuse the oil again because it didn't get to the real super high temperature so we're gonna put that oil off to the side maybe use it for other cooking things. Oh that's a good idea. And we still have 1.5 gallons of that oil left. Uh, peanut oil. Peanut oil was expensive. It was $31 for three, what was it, three gallons? Uh-huh. Or three gallons? It's not bad considering peanut oil is just expensive. But it's supposed to be better for you. Um, we made this whole meal with zero electricity. Double kill. We got both of them. Oh my god, you got sun. I got a lot of sun today. <laughs> we normally, I normally have long sleeves on whenever I'm out working in the sun. Oh shoot, you know what? This has a little bit of a, I don't, I don't think I have that We do have sunblock on, so I've got a farmer's chin now. <laughs> I got it. Right now. That's why I do it. It's perfect. 
There's probably an air bubble in there. So let me flip this up. Oh my gosh, Dan. Um, he just put his hand in hot oil with a glove. I hey, have a fork. Edit that out. Huh? Edit that out. Uh, Why'd you do that? Here, there's a fork. Where's the fork? Right there. Dan, it's right next to the pan, inside the pan. Dink. Okay, we're gonna have to keep checking this. Come on. Hee 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 hee. Okay, bye. 330. 330 degrees there. All right, so I get the stupid person of the year award. I stuck my hand in hot oil. Don't do that. That's really dumb. Yeah. Pour the whole damn thing in. Well, no, you inject it, Dan. What do you know don't, about don't turkey? Don't spill my oil. <laughs> this this is, is my mother-in-law's. Yeah, right. <laughs> get Danny. Now, here's the toilet paper. Oh, shit. This is really, uh, use the injectable. It's like... Folds out and kind of Hey, Charlie! Happy Thanksgiving! This is one of our dogs, Charlie. Denise is taking him for his. What are you doing? Charlie, You busy? Come here. My oh, say hi to everybody. Cool. Say hi to everybody. Come on. Up to Dad, you could do it. You're he's so shy. Come here. Shy. Isn't he beautiful? He's like the sweetest little pit pit baby in the whole world.